Welcome tonight. Welcome for all those of you that have been watching me. Welcome for all those of you that are stopping for the first time. So today I want to say to you, be strong in the Lord no matter what you might be going through. Remember our Lord Jesus Christ. He went through lots of things because of our sake. So we just have to be strong and say thank you Jesus. Because even the Bible told us if we get pr prosecuted, just lift up our hands and say thank you Lord. So we know life goes on, we just have to go keep on living and keep on doing what God is expecting us to do. So today I just want to encourage you, be strong in the Lord, be strong, don't lose hope, don't lose hope. So no matter what you might be going through, that's what I want to say to you, don't lose hope, there is hope in our Lord. He is our strength, He is our healer, He is the best friend that we can ever, ever, ever have. No matter what time we can call on Him, we can talk to Him, we can call upon His name and He is always there. He is never too tired, He is never too busy to listen to what we have to say to Him. So that's what I want to say to you. Be strong, be strong. So today, I came just to say thank you to my Lord and to be with you and to just encourage someone out there, no matter what you might be going through. As I say, our the only answer we have is in the Lord. So I want to encourage you, those that have the Lord have a purpose, a calling upon them, sorry, a calling upon your life. Don't be discouraged. I am talk I will be talking to those of you God has called to prophesy. God said he has put his words in your mouth and now he's seen many false prophets out there just going and do their work without the Lord in the having the Lord in their life or without God even ask them to talk. So God wants the true prophet to rise. The Lord said, like Jer Jeremiah, he, had, he has put his words in your mouth. Prophets, what are you doing? Where are you? So today, be strong in the Lord, no matter what you might be going through. And I will just pray for a little while with you. all those that need prayer. And I will just say, thank you, Lord. And just ask the Lord to take full control. If you are like you are shy or you are afraid of talking. The Lord have a plan for you. The Lord have a plan for you. Don't lose hope. Keep on searching God. Keep on praying. Keep on fasting. And just live uh, live in, in sanctification. Just search for God at all times. And you will see His glory upon your life. The Lord has chosen you. He has chosen you for a season. He has, he has his own time for you. So don't lose hope. Even if they don't trust you, even if they say that you are fake, you know they will always call those that are true fake and they will always like go to, to all those that are fake, false prophets to come and open their mouth and just to spread lies and to flatter people around. But your calling is not to flatter people around. Your calling is not to go lie to Make friends on, and let, people will be calling you like they're so happy about when you're prophesizing and when you give them a word. They don't have to be happy all the time. If God tells you something to say to them, you must open your mouth and say it. No matter if the person is your mother, your father, your brother, best friend or whatever, you just have to do the will of God. Because one day he will ask you, and you, what did you what did you say to the person I send you to, or your mother, your father, your pastor, why didn't you talk? Why didn't you say what I, what I asked you to say? And you will be the only one there to answer. Please don't flatter anyone. Don't flatter. You don't have to be like in a way with people, but you have to do the will of God because God say like we can talk and there is a way. He, we can do all what we are doing with love. So today, be strong, be strong. I know it's not easy, it's not easy because they will be saying all sorts of things about you. Didn't they did that to Jesus? 
Oh my God. He was without sin. He came and died for us on that cross. But he went through so many things. So that's why I want to say to you, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. God have a calling for you. God have something special for you to do. He have a special calling upon your life. People might not understand you. When you prophesy or when you talk to someone like you receive a revelation, people might not understand what you are talking about. You know, I myself have been through so many things. I've been through so many things. So, if it wasn't for God, where would I be? No one knows. So that's why I say to you, be strong in the Lord. Oh, Heavenly Father, I come before you tonight just as I am, Heavenly Father. I'm calling upon you, Lord, because you alone can answer us and you know our needs. Lord, you know our pain. You know our suffering. So, Lord, my God, Heavenly Father, I pray for someone out there, Lord, who that person is very discouraged, Lord. She or he don't know what to do. Heavenly Father, you are the only way. You have the answer to whatever he or she might be going through. Heavenly Father, we are waiting on your help, Heavenly Father. Oh my God, Jesus. I'm asking you, Lord, to cover them with your precious blood. Let them be strong in you, Heavenly Father. Without you, they are lost. Without you, they are nothing. Nothing can work without you, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, you are the way. You are the truth. You are the light. Let your light shine upon them, Lord. Let your Holy Ghost fire just strengthen them, Heavenly Father. Oh my God, all those that are discouraged, all those they are spreading lies on them, Heavenly Father. Let them be strong in you. Let them be strong in you, Jesus Christ. I call on you tonight. I'm asking you for your mercy. I'm asking you for your mercy, Heavenly Father. Have mercy upon us, Heavenly Father. Oh my God, you are all, Lord, that we need. You are our strength, Lord. We need you to feel like we could feel your arms surrounding us, Heavenly Father, my God, my King. Oh Jesus, let all the plots of and plans of the enemy be destroyed heavenly father all false rumors all what they are saying all what heavenly father no matter who might be saying it no matter oh my god heavenly father work miracles tonight work miracles today work miracles this morning heavenly father no matter what time the visitors will be watching this video heavenly father does Touch someone, encourage someone, Heavenly Father. You know for so long that person has been suffering. So that person has been like, she don't know what to do, Heavenly Father. All these things, she don't know what to do. She might even think really that she is fake. But you are not fake. You are not fake. The Lord has chosen you. The Lord has chosen you. The Lord know who. He knows you better than anyone else. He knows you much better than your own self so today be encouraged be encouraged read your bible trust in god don't put your trust in man don't look for people you're surrounding people that surround you like to always be be like to agree when you talk to them or whatever just trust in god and try to you must try to live a a life that please God. If you live in the like you are a Christian and you want to go and live like people of the world, you're doing everything that they are doing. You don't have any private life with God. You don't have a like a relationship with God where He can talk to you, where He can just guide you and lead you and, and talk to you. We can hear the voice of the Lord because He said He, he left. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is there with us to guide us and lead us. You can feel His talking in your heart, in your soul, your spirit. In His words, He will talk to you. He can use someone around you to talk to you. No matter if the, the person a Christian or not, He will always talk to you. So be strong tonight, be strong today, be strong this morning. Whatever time that you will be watching me, just be strong. Don't lose hope in the Lord. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus, I bless your name, Lord. I bless your name. 
we serve a mighty God. Just be strong in the Lord. Oh my God, just touch someone to the Lord. Heavenly Father, I know I'm nothing, Lord, without you. I'm nothing, Lord. It is not by might, but by your Spirit. It is by your Spirit, by the Spirit of God, by the Spirit of God, Holy Spirit. I call upon you today, Heavenly Father. I call upon you tonight, oh my God, my King. Heavenly Father, King Jesus, I bless your name. I worship you, Heavenly Father. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. He is there to strengthen you. He is there to strengthen you. Just feel his presence. Just feel his presence. Just feel his presence. Oh my God, you are so wonderful. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. And for all those of you that are like you are in pain, suffering because of people say on you, what people say on you, or you don't like, you cannot find your place. You don't know if to talk, if to dance, if to sing. Like people, they are always watching you. They are always saying things. Just give, lift your hands and just say praise the Lord. Just stop watching. Just stop. Like you cannot, just pretend like you not, cannot even see them. And just lift up your hands and worship your God. Lift up your hands and worship Him. When you are feeling like you are discouraged, just... Lift up your hands and try and worship your God. Worship Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship Him. He is the creator of all things. Just worship Him. So for those that are crying, maybe you are sad, you don't know what to do, I just want to say to you, you don't have to worry and don't you be afraid. So... Be strong in the Lord. Be strong, be strong, be strong. Hallelujah. Oh my God, my King. My God, I don't even have the words to talk. I don't even have the words to Heavenly Father but you. You have all the words I need to talk. I need to be speaking or singing or whatever, Heavenly Father. Lord, you are the way. You are the way maker. You are the way maker. You are the way maker, Heavenly Father. Work miracles, Heavenly Father. Oh my God, I bless your name, Jesus. I give you glory, I give you praise. Amen. Until next time, have a blessed day. Just as I said, trust in God. Trust in God. 
trust in God. God, the Lord will never leave you confused. He will never fail you. He will never fail you. Trust in him. Until next time, have a pleasant day. Have a pleasant night. No matter what time you will be watching me, maybe in the morning, be blessed and be strong in the Lord. Until next time, bye-bye.